Now, what are the units of current? A lot of you have already heard this. Uh, units, let's go ahead and change colors a little bit. The units for current is the ampere, which is also called an amp, right? Um, or you can call it simply A, right? The uh, higher the number of, of amps, the um, you know, the higher the, the current going through the circuit. Basically, an ampere is telling you how many charges are moving through your circuit per second. And there's a, a definition in physics that you could go look up for that, and that's fine. It's not terribly important because, you know, really we're always talking in circuits. You know, in, fi in a physics class, you'd be talking about an individual charge moving. There's so many coulombs on a charge moving, right? But in a circuit, you've got billions of charges in this, in this guy. So you don't talk about coulombs and, and how many coulombs of charge are crossing through a boundary. You just look at the aggregate, which is how many amperes, which is a coulomb per second. How many coulombs per second really are going through that guy? So an ampere represents how many coulombs of charge are passing. If you were to slice this wire and watch how many go through there, that would be how many coulombs of charge go through there per second. But really, you don't have to deal with that too much in a, in a circuits class. We're always going to be talking about amps or amperes. So bringing it back to the everyday language that everybody already knows, you, you've heard of amps, right? Everybody's heard of amps. Um, that is the current flow. The higher the number of amps in that circuit is the, the more it can potentially kill you, right? It doesn't take much current to kill a person, actually, uh, believe it or not. So you might have a car stereo that has, you know, a 10 amp amplifier, right? It means 10 amps of current are flowing around that amplifier because to push the sound into those speakers and get them to move really loud, um, you need a lot of physical electricity to do that, right? To actually get it to move like that. But in a computer, inside of a microchip, you might have a teeny tiny amount of current going around because those are very delicate circuits. You might have a milliamp or a microamp inside of those guys. But the base unit of current is always going to be the ampere, which is, which is what we have right here. All right. So to sum it up, uh, which is really so important, I keep talking about it, current uh, in general, in real life, is the flow of electrons. However, in all circuits from henceforth that we're going to talk about, we're not even going to talk about this. We're just going to say the current comes out of the positive terminal and the unit is ampere. That's really the bottom line. All right. Now, the next thing we have is the concept of voltage, which many, many, many people get confused with current because it's kind of used interchangeably. Voltage is the push, I'm going to put in quotes, the push, that causes the current to flow. So in other words, it's the source, right? It's the source. So when you look at a 9 volt battery, that battery comes in a physical size and has 9 volts. 9 volts mean is a relative indicator to tell you how much oomph, for lack of a better word, um, that battery can push in a circuit. So the um, current and the voltage are very, very closely related. You cannot have any current flowing without something pushing it. And so you have to have some source there to push it, which is usually a battery or a wall socket or something like that, and that's always measured in volts. So when you, when you see on TV, you know, oh boy, you could be killed by 10,000 volts. Well, 10,000 volts is not really how much current is flowing through you. That's just how much push there is. So to kind of bring it down to, to layman's terms, think about a straw. Pretend this were a soda straw that you get at a restaurant, right? And let's say it's a pretty narrow straw, like a, almost like a straw that you use to stir your coffee, okay? Now, if I blow on it like this, then I'm going to be pushing air through that straw. The current is the air that's actually moving through the straw, right? That's what the current is. That's what's actually doing the movement and doing the work, all right? Now, I'm actually blowing on it, so I'm pushing, I'm actually increasing the pressure at the, at the end of that thing that's causing the current to move. That's the voltage. The push that I give it, the pressure that I give it, is what's actually causing the current to move, or the, in this case, the air to move through the straw. If I don't blow and I don't give any pressure, then there's no current, there's no flow of air through the straw. Same thing in a circuit. If the voltage is zero, you know, coming out of the source here, then there's no current. So the two are very closely related. It's just that the voltage is the push and the current is actually what's moving. That's really the, the main thing to take away from this guy. 
Um, so it usually comes from, a, or it always comes from a battery or some kind of other source that you might get uh, that's generated out of the wall. Now for the units of voltage, the units is the volt, or simply call it V. Uh, so that's just this, 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 the, uh, the same thing as the current. The more, the more volts you have, the higher the voltage you have, the more potential to move current through a circuit you have. So that's why 10,000 volts is so much more dangerous than one volt. Um, it's not because it's measuring how much current's going through your body, it's just that if I grab onto a 10,000 volt fence, it has the potential to push a ton of current through my body, right? Whereas a one volt source, since it's so much less of a push, so to speak, um, it's not really going to do very much to me. Uh, right? So that's really the main difference. So current and voltage tied at the hip, but two different things. Uh, the biggest faux pas you can kind of get into is saying, boy, that was a really impressive circuit. That had 39,000 volts of electricity flowing through your body. That sentence makes no sense. Voltage does not flow through your body. Only current does. Voltage is what actually pushes the current through your body. That's really the main distinction.